Okay, so to get started on making your beaded rope, you're gonna need some paracord. Um, this one I have is cut to about 15 and a half inches. And as you can see, I just sealed the ends. And this is actually a wristlet size. You're also gonna need some needle and thread. I use size D Nymo, and this is a size 12 needle. And the last thing you're gonna need is just regular seed beads. Mine are size 11 seed beads, and today I'm just gonna be using a couple of different types of blue. Okay, so to get started, you're just gonna take the end of your thread and you're gonna tie three knots. You want the knot to definitely uh, be thick enough so it doesn't go through the paracord when you stick it all the way through. So, take your paracord and you're gonna wanna leave about a two inch space in the front because you're gonna obviously wanna attach your key ring so decide whatever size you want and you fold it over and then right after the paracord end you're gonna stick your needle all the way through and you're gonna pull all that thread until you get to the knot just like that and then you're gonna wrap three times right where that knot is and stick the needle all the way back through so now you have it all tight and ready to wrap so now you're going to take whatever color beads you want you can really do any kind of design. Um, I like to have a notepad handy to track how many beads of each color I'm using. So here are just some examples of uh, wristlets that I've been working on. Some different colors and as you can see you can do stripes, you can do like sections of individual colors, it's really whatever your preference is, but these are the ones that I've been working on. This one in particular, because I'm using different shades of blue, it's gonna kind of look ombre. So, in the beginning, I would start off with just one color that, of whatever color you're gonna be using first. So I'm gonna start off with this dark blue, and you're just going to put however many beads you want this to be. Okay, so I have about 50 beads strung on so it should look something like this. Okay, and then now we're gonna get to wrapping. So what you're gonna wanna do is you can either wrap left or right, like whatever you're feeling. I like to hold my beads upwards and then with my other hand hold the paracord and I like to roll my paracord. This ensures that I keep all the beads tightly wrapped. Alright, and then once you get to the end, hold this thread down with that other hand. You're going to re-take your needle. You're going to stick it right where you ended. And you're going to pull all the way through. Just like that. Then you're gonna go back and stick your needle right through the last bead of your wrap. And pull all the way through. 
So it should look something like this. Okay, so now you're just gonna go in the same method with your next color. So I have about another 50 beads strong and we're just going to repeat. So you're going to hold the paracord with one hand and slowly wrap. You want to make sure there's no gaps in your beads. Then go right through the paracord where your thread or where your beads end and pull all the way through as you can see and then go through focus go through that last bead and pull all the way through So now all you have to do is repeat the same steps all the way until you get to the end of your paracord. Normally I leave a small space so that I can attach the ends. So as you can see I have left just a small space so that you can connect it in the end. So now that you've finished with your beaded rope, you should have a small little little end and I like to wrap three times around the paracord then take the needle and stick it all the way through and pull it tight then I just take some scissors I have these I got them from Amazon I use them to cut paracord and fire line and they're great and so you're just gonna cut off a little bit so you only leave a small amount and then if you had to tie more thread on you can cut those ends as well and then same for the little thread at the beginning and then I normally take a lighter and I just kind of burn those ends so that they stay down and same thing for this just so that you don't have strings hanging or so that nothing unravels and then there you go and this is how you do a beaded rope and um, I am going to be making a video on how I actually connect the hooks to my keychains um, but that'll be another video Thanks for watching!